In this video, you will learn how to perform a quantitative enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, or ELISA. The ELISA uses antibodies to detect an antigen or antibody of interest by exploiting the tendency of proteins to adsorb, or stick, to a plastic microplate. In this activity, an ELISA will be used to measure the amount of an antigen present in a sample. First label a 12-well microplate strip. Label the outside of each well sequentially from 1 to 12. These wells will contain the standards. In a second 12-well microplate strip, label the first three wells with a plus for positive controls and the next three with a minus for negative controls. Label the last two sets of three wells for the test samples. In the first microplate strip, pipette 50 microliters of 1x PBS or phosphate buffered saline into wells 2 through 12. Do not put any PBS in well number 1. Set your micropipette to 100 microliters and add 100 microliters of 1000 nanograms per mil of antigen to well number one of the first microplate strip. The next series of steps will guide you through performing a serial dilution from well number one through well number 11. First set your pipette to 50 microliters. Pipette 50 microliters out of well number one and add it to well number two. Pipette up and down gently three times to mix the sample in well number two. Using the same pipette tip, transfer 50 microliters from well number two to well number three and mix as you did in the previous step. Repeat this transfer and mixing step, moving to the next well each time. Stop when you reach well 11 and discard 50 microliters of solution from well 11 into a waste container. Using the second microplate strip, use a fresh pipette tip to transfer 50 microliters of positive control into the three wells labeled plus. Use a fresh pipette tip to transfer 50 microliters of the negative control into the three wells labeled minus. Use a fresh pipette tip to transfer 50 microliters of each of the test samples into the corresponding wells. Remember to use a fresh pipette tip for each of the different samples. Incubate the samples for five minutes at room temperature so that the antigen can bind to the plastic wells.
Tip one of the microplate strips upside down onto a short stack of paper towels and gently tap the strip a few times. Make sure to avoid splashing sample back into the wells. Take the other microplate strip and repeat the procedure as you did with the first strip. The following steps will take you through the procedure for washing the microplate strips with wash buffer. Use a transfer pipette to fill each well with wash buffer, taking care not to spill over into neighboring wells. The same transfer pipette can be used for all washing steps in this activity. Tip one of the microplate strips upside down on a short stack of paper towels and gently tap the strip a few times. Repeat this process with the second strip. Repeat the washing steps one more time for both microplate strips. Using a fresh pipette tip, transfer 50 microliters of primary antibody into each well of both microplate strips. Incubate the samples at room temperature for 5 minutes so that the primary antibody can bind to the antigen. Following incubation, empty each of the microplate strips to remove the unbound primary antibody. Repeat the wash procedure using wash buffer twice to wash the unbound primary antibody out of the wells. Use a fresh pipette tip 
to transfer 50 microliters of secondary antibody into each well of both microplate strips. Incubate the samples at room temperature for 5 minutes so that the secondary antibody can bind to the antigen. Following the incubation, empty each of the microplate strips to remove any unbound secondary antibody. Perform the wash procedure three times to wash the unbound secondary antibody out of the wells. Use a fresh pipette tip to transfer 50 microliters of enzyme substrate into each well of both microplate strips. Wait 5 minutes for the blue color to develop. Visually compare the intensity of the color in the test wells to the intensity of the color in the standards. Identify the standard that most closely matches the test wells and estimate the concentration of antigen in the test samples.